again, how are you doing? And welcome to video two, um, where I'm just having a quick look at how to load iframes onto your page. So here is one I did earlier. That sounds like Blue Peter, doesn't it? Here is one I did earlier. Um, and uh, that is basically done in an iframe. And, uh, and I think iframes are very cool, actually. Um, but as I did say in video one, um, really, iframes are not for the complete newbie. You do need to know how to upload a web page, how to create a web page, and how to upload it to your FTP, to your server, to your hosting account, how to get it live on the web um, in order to be able to do this. But in these videos, I am not going to go through how to do that. That is another complete video series altogether. OK, um, but uh, in this video, um, what I'm going to do is just show you how to actually put an iframe page onto a Facebook page. OK, um, all right. So let's without further ado, let's crack on and do that. So first of all, we need a web page. So let's just um, imagine that you've created a web page. OK, so this is a basic web page that I have created and I've put onto the web. OK, um, so that at the moment is not an iframe page that is a web page that I have created. Okay, so that's now uploaded, that's on the World Wide Web. And what I need to do is transfer this web page and put it on to Facebook. So the first thing I need to do is go over and create an app. Now, to create an app, you need to go to http um, colon forward slash forward slash developers dot facebook dot com forward slash setup. Developers dot facebook dot com forward slash setup okay and then what you need to do is decide what your site name is going to be and you always use the http okay and www dot um, and I'm just going to use free fan page templates because that's one of my sites templates.com um, forward slash and you must put that oh sorry I've put my URL in there and actually that's the site name you anybody who knows coding is currently watching that going Joe you're putting a URL in there URL needs to go in there okay and the site name is going to go up here so I'm going to call this because it's the great I'm going to call this great show one okay and I'm just going to give it that and then I'm going to create that as an app so you click create app and then you have to put in the capture stuff, which I always tend to have to do two or three times because I never understand the words. Is that right? Or is that going to tell me I need to put it in again? One, two, three, four. Come on, come on, come on. OK, great. It's worked. It's now registered with Facebook. OK, so this is my app. This is my app ID. Um, and all of that kind of stuff. OK, and I'm not going to go into what all of this is, but this is the JavaScript SDK code um, that when you start messing around with this and putting it in your web pages, um, there's all sorts of things that you can do. But I'm not going to go into that on this particular video. I just want to show you um, now what we need to do to load it up onto fan page. OK, um, so what I want to do now is I want to go into my developer dashboard to edit the settings of my app. OK, so I'm going to click on my developer dashboard and here I am and I'm going to click on edit settings. OK, let's go into edit settings and here's my app. Now, here's the really cool thing you can do. You can actually add an icon of your own, which means that's going to show up on the left hand side. Let me show you what I mean by that. See, see this little icon there? That shows up there yeah so what we need to do that is simply go to change your icon and browse on the internet until you find the icon that you want okay so if I just simply go down to here and there's my icon and I open that and that's going to upload that little image there now obviously that's not a great image because there's too much detail on it so you want something fairly um, simple to go in there as opposed to what I've done but well, that's really all you need to do on that page. You can put in descriptions and all that kind of stuff is entirely up to you. But here, what we want to do is go to the Facebook integration tab here. So let's click on that. And then this is all the information that we need. OK, this is all the information that we need to do something with. 
So what I'd like to do is actually stop the video there because we are now nearly at five minutes and I do like to keep these videos quite short and um, show you exactly what information you need to put in this Facebook integration page in the next video. So the link is um, just underneath this video. It said, the link says video three now. So click on video three and I will go through all the details of what you need to fill into this Facebook integration page and get your page uploaded onto Facebook. See you on the next video.